This problem is a little different than the, the um, exercise that the link is next to. Instead of having x bigger than or equal to negative 1, we're going to look at x less than negative 1. Now this is still a perfectly good uh, function of x, and it's a 1 to 1 function. You can see that from the graph. If you look at a point, uh, a value of y, there's at most one value of x it comes from. So it seems clear there is an inverse function, and maybe we'll be able to find it. Well, what we need from the definition is to have y is equal to f inverse of y squared plus 2 f inverse of y. In other words, just uh, f of f inverse of y is equal to y. Now, um, all we have to do now is solve this equation for f inverse of y. Okay? Using the quadratic formula, you see I have this quadratic equation, and so now I can solve for f inverse of y. Well, f inverse of y is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of this thing over 2, and that simplifies to this. Now, here's where we need to think about which one of these we're going to pick. You see, there's an ambiguity here, and we've got to pick the correct one. If we look at the domain of the function, it's x less than minus 1. And I need to have x here, that's the same x that I started with, you see. x needs to be less than minus 1. So what I have to have is to pick the negative, uh, negative choice here. Otherwise, it would not always be less than minus 1. So then this is a formula for our inverse function f inverse of y is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 1 plus y.